Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady and welcome to my month in review for the month of March and April. So I wasn't very productive diamond painting wise for the last couple of months and in fact I'm planning to put most of my diamond painting on hold as I'm mostly focusing on my new house and related stuff to that and packing things up. So my first finish I have to show you was from Diamond Art Studio UK. It was called Ferdinand. Welcome to my floor as well. My usual desk for recording is no longer up here, it's gone. So we're on the floor. So this piece, I had a lot of problems with it. So one of the problems actually has now resolved itself. But when I completed this kit, the first thing I noticed was all the way across, there were these really deep creases running across the canvas, which because it's now been sitting for two months in a very heavy portfolio, the creases seem to have flattened out so I'm amazed about that because um, I'll put a picture up on the screen of what it looked like when I first completed it and you can really see how visible those creases were when I first did them um, and I did try ironing over the back of the canvas to try and you know smooth that out and that didn't actually help at all. Um, another big problem I had with this kit was all of this background colour, this white, which was 5200 it actually contained mixed dye lots. So obviously in this angle, you're not gonna be able to tell that very easily. But yeah, it was like kind of this complete speckled effect where you got like about three or four different shades of white and off-white. Fortunately, because of the nature of the painting, I think it didn't really take anything away. Now it's done, you can't really, I don't think it's really that noticeable. In natural daylight, it is more noticeable. Um, but I was really disappointed when I'd finished it and a woman on Facebook had asked to see the picture of it when it was completed so I went ahead and I shared the picture with her and actually Diamond Studio UK actually saw the post and they were so apologetic and they actually refunded me the cost of the kit which really it wasn't necessary I didn't ask for that they just saw the finished picture of it with the creases in it and they were happy to they just went ahead and did it in the middle of the night I didn't even realize until about one o'clock in the morning that I was like what, wait, I have a notification from PayPal saying I've been refunded. So that was just superb. They were, were so lovely. The woman who runs it, her name's Sam, I think. Um, yeah, she was messaging me back and forth and I sent her pictures of the mixed dye lots of the drills to the best of my ability that I could get the photograph of them. And interestingly, she told me something quite interesting about the nature of the 5200 drills. And that is that they don't actually contain any dye pigment. So to get those kind of mixed dye lots, it's actually when the pickers, the drill pickers, have actually picked them from different batches. Because to get that mix, uh, that decoloration, it's actually because there's a contaminant in the like processing part that makes the makes the drill, which is really interesting. Yeah, a contaminant in the mixer, which gives an imperfect white effect. That is what they messaged me. Um, and they also said that they will reach out to their manufacturer and get them to pick drills from the same batch in the future. So they relayed all that information over. And they also said that this creasing in the canvas has become, it's becoming quite a well-known sort of um, an issue with them. And going forward, all new kits and all restocks will have this new um, anti-wrinkle proof canvas and they believe that the issue with all this creasing in the canvases is actually from the packers in the factory being too heavy-handed when wrapping it too tight which causes the cover to slip once it's you know stuck and wrapped so that was really interesting I learned I learned stuff so that was my first finished little Ferdinand oh, it was by the artist Splatterworks um, so interestingly, the one thing I love about Diamond Art Studio UK is that they legally license all their art from the artists and they also, they don't use any AI art whatsoever. Like, it's just one of their policies. They have no AI art listed, which for me is a big thing. I am I really enjoy that about the company. It's, it's something that I feel is online with my own values. Sorry about my toes that keep being in the picture. Good job it's not twitch um so yeah that was my first finish so i am glad that you can't really see the wrinkles anymore it could just be this light but then i haven't had this one out for quite a while to look at it so yeah maybe on the back you might be able to see the yeah you can still see where the wrinkles were if i can position this 
you can see where the wrinkle the crease went all the way across there and then more down there but at least having it really flat under really really heavy diamond paintings has helped that flatten out quite a bit so that is a good thing that was my first finish for march was it i think so my second finish was this one that you have seen in every video for the last however many months Tersley friends from uh the one with the diamond art also a uk company this one is a ai based artwork that i wasn't aware of at the time so if you are worried about ai artwork um it's best to go to their like premium artist tabs and just read up on the artists that you're looking at purchasing from because then it will clearly tell you if they're using ai or not um so anyway that's my own personal preference had i had known wouldn't have probably have bought it it was really difficult uh, to work on the confetti just it's only a 50 by 50 and it really did kind of just it took its toll but I think I took quite a long time away from it and I only had like this last bottom section to do and yeah I kind of just marathoned through the bottom section and then it was done and it was quite nice to have kind of like two finishes within kind of like two days of each other so I was like hey I finished the kit really quickly whereas in reality it's taken months and months so I do like their AB placement um their ABs on this are all up here in the background the AB quality was really good the rest of the drill quality was about iffy sort of some of it was good some of it wasn't it wasn't as bad as the drill quality on that other kit that I showed you um, the Ferdinand kit that had really bad drill quality on it but this one I'm not sure I like this colours the colours in the skin around here um, now this is one of their older kits they have since uh, since they did I bought this kit they have made a number of upgrades on their rendering so they kind of removed a lot of the unnecessary confetti and made it a lot more kind of smoothed out so I like that um, I don't have any newer kits from them with the newer rendering, but that is something that I'd be interested to see for myself in the future to see exactly what like the improvements are like. So anyway, it's finished at long last. It's done. Cross it off the list. Never have to work on it again. Yay. So that was my second finish. Third finish is actually this one, which is on a hanger because it won't fit in any of my albums, but it's um, from the artist Sarah Mustafa, I love her art. I did participate in the Spring with Sarah Mustafa event that was happening on Facebook. So this is uh, <laughs> Moon Goddess. So Avatar, got a love the Avatar fan art. Unfortunately, this was nothing but stress and aggravation because when I unpacked it, I looked at the drill colors and went, oh man, those are really, really orange. Um, yeah, really orange. The, the colours in her skin I was just like I don't want to use that because it doesn't look like the original artwork um and because in the original artwork her, and in the character in general put up there see her skin is really really dark so interestingly I pulled out the other colours that I had the same DMC charted colour from my stash and I used those instead because they were a lot less orange in fact I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see kind of the colours that came with the kit versus the colours that were actually originally in my stash of drills, leftover drills. And you can see how like massively different the shades were, even though they've got the same DMC colour code. So I did have to order an extra colour um, as well, and I wasn't too happy about that. It was the, the 3830 ones. Uh, they were, the ones I ordered were so I had to get them from a place called Smith Beads to replace them. The colour was so similar to the 355 of her main part of the skin that you can't actually really see the subtlety and the blending in her face very well, which was a bit disappointing to me. I did save the skin till last, which of course meant I spent the whole kit worrying about how the skin was going to turn out instead of actually enjoying the process of the rest of the kit. So for me, it wasn't an enjoyable experience just because of the way the colours in the skin were chanted and the way I was trying to get it to look, I wanted it to look perfect and ended up not enjoying it. So 
that was my third finish but it was sad because i was really looking forward to doing this one i got it off from a d stash group and i was like oh so excited because the new avatar tv series had just come on and i was watching that and i thought i'm in the mood for some avatar and then it just didn't work out to be the case but i enjoyed it as much as i'd hoped so my final finish that i have to show you for april was my very first dreamer designs this one's called blueberry lunch i believe um from the uh, artist kirk reynard i believe so yeah this one this was quite cool i like this one this was my very first uh, dreamer designs i i really enjoyed like the first top segment that i did of it and then i sort of lost interest as i went because i was dealing with other stuff it was quite confetti heavy and there were a lot of the sim similar symbols um, in this kit. There were so many of these Y symbols. I'm going to put a picture up of the drills so you can see them of just how many Ys. And it was mainly these kind of the angled slopey ones that had the very similar color background. Those ones I did find kind of tripped me up a little bit. But I've heard so many people complaining about Dreamer designs and the quality of their drills and everything. And really wasn't that bad so just as kind of a comparison um the third man kit which is sort of roughly the same size um look at that there so the dreamer designs was 40 by 50 the third and was i think 40 by 60 i'm going to put a picture up on the screen because i saved the trash drills from both kits so you can kind of see that there probably wasn't actually much in it in terms of trash between possibly the two companies. This kit was slightly bigger, so obviously there was a bit more trash in it. But I don't think, I think they were kind of mainly on par with each other. And I kind of feel bad that in my previous month in review diamond painting video, I had been kind of a bit harsh, I think, about talking about the trash drills in this kit. Because after I filmed that video, I thought to myself, what am I actually comparing these squares to? Because most of the squares that I have completed have been Diamond Art Club. And that's not a fair, you know, that's not a fair standard to hold other companies to because Diamond Art Club, you know, they make all their, their drills in-house. Um, so they can have better quality control, whereas these companies don't. They don't make their own drills, they're supplied by a manufacturer. So, yeah, so it probably wasn't much in it. I don't think the trash was really that bad. I definitely don't think um, Dreamer Designs deserves the hate that they seem to get. There seems to be an awful lot of, let's bash Dreamer Designs, which is actually one of the reasons that I put off buying for them for like the best part of a year and a half, was because of all that negative feedback that I kept seeing on, on Facebook groups and things. So anyway, I was very happy with my little bunny picture, especially since it's only a 40 by 50, so it's quite small and easy to work on. And I really like that. So. We had a completion from Diamond Art Studio UK. We had a completion from the one with the diamond art. That one, our turtley friends. And then we had Diamond Art Club. That was a round kit. Right. And then we had the Dream Design. So we had three square kits and one round kit was our total for those two months. And I'm not sure if I actually showed them or not, but I did complete a couple of stickers. These were from Craft Buddy UK, so I have the two, I can't remember if I've already showed these or not, I can't remember when I did them now, but I've got the two um, Pongo and Pedita ones, 101 Dimensions, and I've got Lady and the Tramp. But I don't think I'll be getting any more because kind of without the sticker book it's less fun. So I just have kind of my three favourite doggos, and that's it. I would have liked to get the Bambi one and the Aristocats, Aristocats one, because uh, yeah, they're the only ones I really like. I don't really care about the Star Wars ones and things. So those were my actual finishes for the month. Um, I have to say, just outstanding with the customer service from Diamond Art Studio UK. I'm also so pleased that these creases seem to have um, flattened out a lot from being in storage. That is a huge thing for me. Again, I never asked for a refund. I never reached out or complained or anything. I literally just... I put a picture up on a group trap chat. I replied to someone else's comment. I didn't even make my own post about it. Um, and said, this is what it looks like finished. And they said, oh, 
that's a shame and it was just happened that diamond art studio uk happened to see it i wasn't going out of my way to to try and be mean or anything because i'd had um i don't know if you ever have it where you you make a conversation in your head of trying to explain the problems just to let people know and then it gets too overwhelming so you're like i'm just not going to complain about anything <laughs> which is what i did um but it all worked out for the best so i'm still glad i got that experience it does make me a little bit wary of um their like older stock that might still have the crease canvas because i actually in april i started i took part in their april showers event which was their own <laughs> facebook diamond painting group event that they did with another canvas and when i unwrapped that i realized it had the same deep creases right down the middle of the face of these badges um so i actually <laughs> made a point of reaching out at that point before i started working on it and said um yeah i've got the same problem so they sent me a replacement canvas with, without any problems there so i'm looking forward to the fact that all their new restocks and everything will have this anti-crease canvas so that's something i'm really looking forward to in the future future batches i'm also looking forward to doing more dreamer designs my only problem there is i wish more of their canvases were this size this 40 by 50 because their next size up is 60 by 90 which i think it's 60 by 90 or 60 by 80 and it's just that's it's so big for me i do have three others from dreamer designs all in that large size so yeah we will see <laughs> when I get around to doing them. Eventually I will, but I think I need a, I much prefer smaller kits. I'm really leaning that way at the moment. And then of course, you had the standard quality of Diamond Art Club, but unfortunately again, skin tones were just off. So I'm not surprised that this kit was actually discontinued very, very quickly after its initial release. Um, probably because of those skin problems because if you read the reviews on their website about this kit a lot of people have mentioned the skin colors in it um yeah and have also changed it as well so yeah those are my finishes i <laughs> love to say i actually enjoyed all of them but i don't think i really enjoyed any of them but that's mainly me in the headspace that i've been in at the moment which hasn't been a particularly great one so if I show you my final kit that I'm working on, we're going to take a quick trip over to my desk because it's got tons and tons of drills sitting on it. And you can see what I've been working on for the last, I don't know, three weeks or something. Get some of the sparkle in. So this is Woodland Badges by also Diamond Art Studio UK and by the artist Sarah Miles Art, who's my favorite artist who currently licenses with them. So I've done half a badger. Sorry, that's not a really good way for me to be able to show this. As you can see, I have my my drills everywhere. That's just the way I like to do it because then I can just work in small sections and go line, line, line. So we've got an extra nose and we've got one completed badger head. <laughs> so that's what I participated in the Purple Showers event with. Haven't had any problems. Drills have all been really good. Um, apart from that issue where I had the crease in the original canvas where they sent me a replacement, which was no bother whatsoever. So it's coming along quite well, even though you can't really see any of it. But yeah, coming along quite well. It's a badger. It's very cute. Um, once I've finished that one, I'm planning to just stop diamond painting for quite a while. I just need the space back while I'm <laughs> in the process of packing up my stuff, which is it's an arduous task. <laughs> so like I said, I haven't been in the best mental headspace, hence why I haven't made videos for quite a while. Um, and I'm not sure when the next video will be either, probably well into the future after I have made a move, maybe in the next few months or something, but I'm not planning to be diamond painting as much as I was before. <laughs> Real life stuff has taken its toll. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my finishes for March and April. And I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.